Hello and welcome to The Sandbox. This is a game available on iOS, Android and PC. I'm playing on the iPad today, my iPad, and it's basically a game where you kind of create worlds uh, using different varieties of sand. So here is the list of all the elements. There's um, basic ones and then there's more complicated ones. And then there's other things like decorative blocks, explosives, gemstones, game elements like uh, controllable characters. Um, and then there's nature things, and yeah, that's pretty cool, and there's some humans as well. So we're going to be building a world today, um, I think based on the kind of volcano eruption story that I'm going to make. So I'm going to pick a background, and I saw one earlier that looked like a volcano. Um, if I could find it again, where was it? Must be going the wrong way. Um, ah, here it is this one. Choose! So he's got a kind of dark, foggy, misty, scary landscape here. Now we can make anything we want. So we pause it so the sand won't fall. But if I just show you what the sand is like, uh, when you pause and say stone, it falls down like that. It's like little pixels and you kind of build up like that. And you can pick bigger brushes and so on. So if I have like a layer of, sand, um, of rock underneath the land, Makes sense, doesn't it? And then um, for the volcano, I think I have to pause it because I want to build up like a straight line where the shaft will be. If we get the line tool, it should be easier. Oops, wasn't much easier. There we go. So that's going to be like the volcano eruption shaft. Now we take, say, um, some soil and make a kind of mountain looking thing on top with some like. Um, into soil, top soil, and then on top of that maybe some mud so we can grow some plants. And we'll get a slightly like smaller brush for that. There we go, lovely plants will grow all over the mud. And then we can maybe unpause, and it will, it will settle down, start growing. And then we want to rub out some of these bits at top, we want the stone kind of to show through. Kind of like that, there we go, cool. Okay, so now the plants will start growing all over the place, uh, like that. Now it needs a little bit more mud, I think, because the top of this mountain is not getting much in the way of plants. There we go, is that better? What about some of this? What about some of that? What about some of this? Give me some more stone. Need some more stone. Come on. There we go, that's about right. No plants growing at the top? Come on, I want some plants. Lots of plants! Oh well, they'll do it. So we, maybe we can add um, some water now, because every world needs water. So we'll dig a, maybe a, a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a lake here. Put some sand. Or maybe deeper than that, I'm not sure. Oh, wrong one. Bit of a bit of a lake. Some sand in the bottom of the lake. Makes sense, doesn't it? A bit of sand and some water. Fill it up with water, it will start evaporating and making clouds. There we go. Oh, bit, bit too much, but it should start evaporating, so it should be fine. Look at that, that flower is holding back the floodgates. <laughs> right. Um, now the mud just seems to be drying out a little bit, so I kind of want to add a little bit more, because there's not enough grass getting, getting through here. Hmm, what's going on? Must be dirt. Dirt everywhere. Give me mud. Bro, pretty trees. Oh, trees, we can add some trees. So if we go to here and pick up seeds, scatter a few seeds around. Top of the mountain. Maybe we can pick up some nicer looking trees. There's a whole nature set here with lots of different trees. So we can go for maybe some oak trees. Yeah! Big oak tree. One other one. Cool. Okay. Now we can add some uh, animals. I saw here's some fish here. Look, put some fish in. And we've got some bunnies. Make our world populated with little creatures. There we go, little bunnies. Ah. Get them hop around. I think the fish need something to eat, so we need to give them some algae, which is down here in the tree section. 
throw some algae in for the fish to eat. There we go, little fishies. Enjoy your dinner. Looking good. Yeah? Yummy dinner? Alright, so our world's looking pretty pretty nice right now. Hmm. The clouds are forming. The uh, bunnies are hopping. They've eaten all the grass. Uh, which is a bit of a bummer. <laughs> Naughty bunnies. Naughty. So this volcano, when it goes off, I think we want somewhere for the denizens of the world to escape to. So we'll go for maybe some, um, like a sky island, like in Pandora, maybe. So we'll go for a small brush and we'll make a kind of, um, kind of bucket in the sky. We can zoom in there, look, we delete bits we don't want. High is it? Is it high enough from both sides? Looks like it. And then we can fill that in with um, different things. Like we'll start off with a bit of stone, fill in the base of a bit of stone, and then some uh, some mud. So we get some plants growing. Looking nice, looking nice. We'll just rub out a little bit of that so it looks smoother. There we go. Maybe plant a nice tree up there. Which tree should we go for? I think I've uh, I've got a Sakura unlocked, I think. Yeah, there it is. I'll use that. Looks nice one. Nice pink tree. Uh, please grow. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. It just rained on these poor bunnies. <laughs> oh, what we could do actually was have like, um, you know in Pandora they've got kind of waterfalls that go off, off the mountains. So we could do that. It won't make any sense, but we can still do it. So we can get in here and maybe make um, a little kind of pond here for the water. Now there's a block here called multi, I think. Yeah, here we go. Now this will like continuously spawn stuff so it, that, it, that touches it. So if I put it down here, it will, like any water that touches it will just continuously spawn. So if I did put, hang on, let's, let's just give the water somewhere to go for because we don't want to fill the world with water, which is what will happen because the multi will keep spawning it. So if you maybe zoom in here, is this about right and there's another thing called a void which anything that touches it gets destroyed so we'll just put like a line of void uh, here maybe and then anything that all the water touches it should oh, it might be too far away let's get a bit closer in and anything that touches it should um, just get destroyed so the water will pour off into this void and uh, die, essentially. There we go, is that enough? It looks pretty good. Now we'll put the water in. Uh, where's the, the brush? Here we go, water. Fill it, oh, a little bit too much maybe, but no, it's okay, there we go. So we've got like an endless waterfall here, pouring off the edge of our uh, of our little, little sky island. That looks pretty nice. It's looking pretty nice. Maybe it could have been a bit lower, but it doesn't matter. There was some lightning there, I just saw some lightning. Okay, so we've got a we've got a bit of a rabbit issue here. Let's uh, let's go and take some of these rabbits out. Uh, where are we? Get some rid of some of these rabbits. Too many rabbits spoiled the broth. Um, too many, just too many of them. Like bread or something, I don't know. Bread like rabbits. That's better. We've got nice three three rabbits. Now let's let's build a house for our future future humans. We'll zoom in on this bit here. And we'll build like a, um, I don't know, a, a stone, stone floor. A fine stone floor. Where are we? Brush. Here we go. And there we go. There we go. Nice flagstones there. Rabbit in the way, of course. Let's just take him out of the picture. Bye bye, rabbit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I rubbed you away. Um,. Right, there we go. Is that big enough for a house? Possibly. Then we'll get, get some wood for the walls. There we go. Double. Double it. Double it up. Oops. Okay. How high do we want to go? Like that. That's a bit much, I think. Maybe like that. Nope. Like that. Perfect. We'll drag that across as a ceiling. And uh, up we go again from this side. There we go. Now let's make a door so they can get in and out. Otherwise they'll be stuck inside the house forever. 
And a roof. We need a roof. Here we go. Let's just build a nice pointy normal roof. Beep. Standard. Oops. Is that about right? There we go. Should we fill it in? Use the fill tool. There we go. One roof. Awesome. Uh, it looks a bit weird, but there we go. <laughs> That's what we're going to get. Um, the, the stone is eroding on the base uh, a little bit. Let's just fill it. Whoa. <laughs> Let's just uh, brush it with some wood just to sort it out a bit there. There we go. Fix that. Good. When a volcano erupts, I want it to erupt really big. So let's go into the top of the volcano and have a look at here. We'll just erase uh, this single bit of stone. And then we'll use multi, I think. And we'll put it above the eruption zone. So when it does erupt, it will keep going. You know what I mean? Like that, maybe. And it will keep spurting out lava. That's what I'm hoping. That is what I'm hoping. Now, how do we make it erupt? That's the question. Maybe we could have some kind of a rain activated eruption so it won't happen exactly when you expect it to. That's probably the best way of doing it, I think. So let's um let's just quickly say before we start messing with lava. There we go. Keep I always keep saving just in case something goes wrong. Um, and now we'll grab the pickaxe tool. And yeah, the pickaxe and the basic one, so we'll we'll just uh, we'll mine out a little bit of an area underneath the volcano, like that. And then maybe a single line all the way. Oops, that's multi. I want the pickaxe. Or maybe we could use the pause tool and the rubber. Yeah, we'll do that. So we use the line tool and the rubber, the razor, and we'll do it right at the bottom. A nice long line all the way to the water and then up through the water okay and we'll fill that with um, metal which, which we can use to conduct uh, a, like a current there we go there we go now let's just get in close here and erase this bit there we go and then bring the metal up again a little bit higher than that Cool, now we'll play that and see what happens. Good, nothing crazy is going on there. Now, what we can do is, um, I think we can use a, a, a sensor, like a water sensor. Now, I don't know where they are, they're in here somewhere. I did find them, maybe in technology, here we go. A liquid sensor, so I tried this earlier and it worked. And uh, we'll get in here and we'll build kind of a, a bucket out of liquid sensor. Like that. Zoom out. So when if it rains onto that specific thing, it will send a, a charge down into the volcano and set it off. So we you never know when it might happen. It might happen like super quick, or it might happen like never. You don't know. A house has been taken over by rabbits. So if we go into the volcano, we have to actually have a way to erupt it because power alone won't won't do it. So we'll get some um, metal. Let's quickly do that. We'll get some metal and we'll maybe um, do a kind of uh, network of heaters like that. Is that going to be enough to erupt it? I won't complete the circuit yet, just in case. And then we'll add in some heaters like there. Now that should, in theory, be enough to heat up the rock enough to create lava and erupt the volcano if I complete that circuit. Okay, right, that's cool. We've got our world complete. It can erupt at any time. We'll just save that. Just keep saving. And um, then we can make it into a game. So maybe when the when the volcano erupts, you want to try and get to this, uh, this, this, this floating island as soon as you can. Obviously, there's no way to get there yet, so we need some kind of game elements. And um, we can add in an avatar, which is like a human that we can control, or we can add in a ninja. Maybe we can add in a white ninja. No, not a white one. The rabbits are white. We'll go for the black one. No, it's too dark against the sky. Pink one. <laughs> Pink ninja. So now that's a character that we can actually control. 
Oh, shoots off like pink stuff. Ha! <laughs> I'm not sure what that does. But we can like jump around as this ninja. I wonder what happens if you hit the uh, the void. Oh, you die. <laughs> you die. That's not good. We'll put another one back then. Thank you. So we've got two buttons, jump and, and shoot. And uh, don't want to hit the void. So we want to be able to get from here up to that sky island. Now what we can do there is use game elements like um, moving platforms maybe. And we'll use the line tool. And we can make these platforms which move like Mario. Look, the, look, the rain just set this thing off. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. So it's evaporated again. But if I had the psychic connected, it might have set the volcano off. Hey, here we go. So moving platforms. Oops, let's go into edit mode. There we go. That's a bit weird. A couple of them. Oh dear, have I used it not? Oh dear. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. Another one here. They're quite small, they're hard to jump on. There we go. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch of moving platforms. Oh, when they hit the void, they get destroyed, of course. So we want to have. Um, let's block the void off with something. Let's get a. Let's get a brick. A wall. Something that will stop it. Stop the platform from hitting the void. There we go. Good. So we need to put the platform back. Moving platform. Line tool. Uh, where was it? About here? Right, now let's pause. And get in and delete these extra little bits that have uh, got in... Got in on our game. And there's one down here as well. Bye-bye. Okay, so that's... That looks like it's uh, hard, but possible. I think we're ready to save. We'll save this as um, the Volcano Escape. Volcano Escape. And I can say Duncan's First World. Oops. Done. Duncan's first world. Save. Cool. Now, we can play it. So, we've got the... Oh, we need to put the weather system on. Shit. Okay, weather on. Then we'll save. Volcano escape. There we go. And then we'll play it through. We'll see how it goes. So now, the weather should be creating clouds which will eventually land on this sensor and all the time in the meantime I have got to get up to that island before the volcano blows up that's the plan let's see if I can do it du, 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 du. oh no uh, the, the clouds are forming guys it's getting dangerous and I can't get on these platforms come on come on Good. Yes. Okay. We're heading there. I think this might be a little bit too easy. I'm not sure. Let's always make it harder. Let's get on this tree. Whoop. On the platform. Yeah. We're nearly there. Jump it, jump it. Oh no. Oh no, I fell. Oh god. Okay. Let's, let's try and get back. Get back. There's a rabbit on my head. It's going to be raining soon. The time is ticking. Oh. Not long now. Uh, got ya. Okay, get back on this tree. No. Oh, I'm right above the volcano. This is not a good place to be, guys. Let's get on this top bit. There we go. Oh, I did it. Okay. I should be safe now. We need there. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We did it. We're safe. We're safe. Oh, oh, oh. oh, nearly. Nearly not safe. We're safe! Oh, and the rain just missed the platform. Or oh, did it? Oh no, here we go. This is it. I'm safe, but it looks like the volcano's going to erupt. Oh, maybe I haven't put enough heater in. Okay, stop, stop there, stop there. This is what should happen. Um, try a bit more heat. A bit more heat. Alright, maybe there's not enough power coming through. Oh, here we go. No, no, that's, that's done it. Just needs, it just needs a bit more rain. So here's my guy. He's standing up on the, uh, on the mountain here. 
and the, the volcano is about to erupt. Oh no! Here it goes! Ah oh my god! There it goes! The volcano's gone, but there's no lava because it didn't get high enough for the uh, for the multis to go off. But it's still pretty devastating here. Oh no! It is pouring down the mountain. Oh no! The bunnies! The bunnies! Are you gonna be okay, bunnies? Oh no! They're fell in the fire. Why are you going in the fire, bunnies? You're crazy. Oh no, I hope I'm, I end up here is going to be good. Oh no, I fell! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no, no. Get safe, get safe, little man. I have to... Oh shit. Oh no, the lava's reached us! No, I'm burning! Oh, oh no! <laughs> well, there we go. Uh, that's the lava escape. And... Uh, it's making a lot of fire with those multis, but it's not doing much else. But I think that's pretty successful. It does it with the trick. You got a, you got a time limit before the rain hits the, uh, the sensor. That's uh, a bit easy, but you know, never mind. So I'll just, um, I'll just undo. No, no. Okay, let's uh, load it again. I guess. Here we go. Volcano escape. Right. So there we go. We'll save that. Yes, and then we'll publish it so you guys can play it if you so wish. Duncan. Enter. Welcome to the sandbox. First, I'll tell me a name. I've done that. Logging in. Oh, already taken. Oh, of course it is. What should we go for? Yogs. Chaos. Leon. That's got to be free. What? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you cheats. Uh, oh, God. Yogs. Cast. Space. Duncan. Come on. Are you serious? You guys. Why don't you let me have my name? I cannot believe this. Yogs Duncan There we go <laughs> So uh, it's from Yogs Duncan It's called Volcano Escape uh, Feel free to download it And play it And make it better if you so wish I think there's multis on the volcano Probably could be, could be better uh, But other than that yeah have fun guys And I'll uh, see you again Goodbye